So if you didn't think that Indian whiskey was a thing, then boy do I have news for you. Hello there everyone and welcome to John Drinks, the channel in which I, John, drink something. And today we have something quite unusual. This is an Indian whiskey by Paul John and it is their peated cask strength. Story behind this, I don't have a bottle to show you for the simple fact that um, where I work, one of the restaurant workers is basically good friends with every distiller in the universe and I'm not actually convinced that that's a joke. But anyway, this woman managed to get the rep to come all the way from Goa to Edinburgh to talk about their whiskies. And so I have five of these Glencairn glasses just kicking around the house waiting to be tried. So I thought I'd share some love today. So as I said, this is the petered cask strength. It is petered and it is cask strength. 55.5% to be specific. And it's an award winner. It won gold in the Wizards of Whiskey Award, I believe that is. I don't know, it sounds alliterative, so that's probably right. So, I'm just going to crack on with this. What does it smell like? I'm going to guess smoky. Ooh, okay. Um, yeah, it's got sort of that, um, it's got a nose of Laphroaig if you poured it over vanilla ice cream. That's the only way I can think to describe that. That's quite pleasing. Uh, this is matured in ex-bourbon barrels. I should probably mention that for whiskey humans out there. I don't have a great deal else to say about this because... The amount of information I have on this is quite limited. This is literally the name tag that I stuffed in with it. So, I mean, you know, that gives you some idea of the kind of uh, ad hoc nature of this. So I'm going to drink this and now tell you what it's like. It's got a rich barbecue-y smokiness about it. There's something slightly charcoal-y about it as well, but it's a very, um, it's a very appealing sort of barbecue-y smoke. No, that's, um, that's remarkable. It's kind of like, um, sort of bourbon vanilla, almost, mixing in with the smoke. Um, there's, there's an element of sort of a charcuterie kind of a thing about it. It's really quite, um, it's really quite fascinating. Um, I'm just looking at this as well. There's, um, there's a thickness to it. Yeah, there's a spiced orange note about this as well as sort of a honeyed backdrop. The smoke isn't overwhelming. It's, it's a subtle note going throughout the entire whiskey. That's quite balanced. Um, a lot of smoky or peated whiskies, um... They they tend to have uh, almost overkill on this. I mean, I love smoke, so I'm okay with that. But a few people are uh, very much not. This is probably one of the more balanced smoky whiskies that might get people that don't think they like smoke, or perhaps even, you know, just don't like smoke, potentially into the format of smoky whiskies. Um, from what I know about these distilleries, I mean, these guys have been going for hundreds and hundreds of years. Like, they're, they're not new. Let's put that out there now. Um... When a lot of people talk about Indian whiskies, they think, oh yeah, that's just a gimmicky. No, these guys have been doing this for a long time, and um, you can tell because this is a very good product. Mmm. <laughs> awesome. Well, um, have you guys tried any Indian whiskies or any international whiskies? I know there's French, Swedish, all sorts kicking around out there, even, God forbid, Irish. Let me know down below which national whiskies you've had. I'm going to go let the cat in now because he's starting to do my brain in. Pardon me.